Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Preposition 24. Uh, the preposition today is at bay. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, at bay, by itself, uh, can mean at a safe distance, you know, like you're far away or you're trying to keep something far away. Uh, it can also mean that one is cornered or unable to escape, you know, depending upon how you use at bay. Or to fend off. Fend off means you're trying to keep it away as well. All right, let's continue. Uh, if used with a verb, it's most commonly used with the verbs keep or hold. So you're trying to keep something at bay or hold it at bay. You don't want it to get too close to you. Obviously, it's, it's a danger or it's a harm or it's something bad. Uh, let's continue. Uh, the origin of the phrase dates back to the 1300s and 1400s. It was used in reference to hunting dogs and their behavior of howling. Even today, a verb form obey refers to dogs making loud sounds, especially when hunting. And of course, they're talking about howling, you know, like that. Ow, 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 you know, dogs doing that. They're, they're howling. Um, okay. The bay refers to the period of when hunting dogs or wolves howl soon before an attack. Sometimes the hunted animal... Uh, will try to make a stand for a period of time, you know, it might know that it's being chased, and try to keep the dogs at bay. So they're trying to keep them at bay where, where they're just still in that howling period before they actually attack. Because when they're attacking, they're usually not howling. It's their behavior before. So you might have, you know, baying dogs or uh, they're making those howling sounds. All right, let's continue. All right, so here's three examples of how we might use it. Uh, many countries are implementing, you know, they're trying to put them into effect. They are implementing strict disease control measures at airports and borders uh, in an attempt to keep the coronavirus at bay. You know, keep it far away. Or right, number two here. She usually sleeps under a mosquito net to keep the mosquitoes at bay. Well, keep them at least some a safe distance away from you. All right, number three here. Uh, they held the suspect at bay, trapped down a dark alley uh, with a dead end until the police arrived. All right, so this would be more like the cornered one, you know, where somebody has difficulty to escape from. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.